Hey guys, I am Vikas and welcome to this After Effects tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this nice and simple looking Instagram story animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. So let's open After Effects and get started. Alright, so click on this new composition and let's call it main comp and set the size 1080 by 1920 and set this frame rate 30 duration make it 5 seconds long and hit ok and now we have to take one more composition that is going to be our media placeholder where we can drag our image or video file that we want to use in this project so go to composition new composition and let's call it media 1 and set the size 1080 by 1920 30 frame per second 5 second long and hit ok all right now let's import our image file so right click on this project window go to import file and select your image so i'm going to use this image which is downloaded from pixabay.com and a link given in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import and now let's drag this image into this media one composition and let's fit this image according to our composition size so hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it up a bit so set this scale maybe 105 percent and hit enter and set this image like that okay and then go back to your main composition and let's create a background so go to layer go to new and take a new solid or you can also hit Ctrl Y to take a new solid and let's call it background and set the size 1080 by 1920 set this color pure white and hit OK and now let's create a circular shape so click on this rectangle tool and choose ellipse tool and set this fill to none and set this stroke maybe solid color and pick this color black pure black and hit ok and set this pixel 350 should be good enough and hit enter and now let's draw a circle so hit shift on the keyboard and let's create a circle like that and let's call it circle and hit enter and now select this move tool and set this circle over here and hit T on the keyboard to bring out this opacity and set this opacity maybe 8% okay so it's looking something like that and drag this circle over here like that and now let's create one more shape that we will be using as a track mat so click on this tool and select polygon tool and let's draw a polygon shape so set this field to solid color and set this stroke to none and pick up any color for better visibility hit ok and hold shift on the keyboard and let's draw a shape like that and select this move tool and set it in center and let's call it shape 1 shape is good and hit enter and now expand this poly star 1 and expand this poly star path 1 and here is point so set this point 3 and create a triangle like that and here is outer roundness so set this roundness value maybe around 75 percent and hit enter and now let's increase outer radius so set this outer radius maybe around 1130 and hit enter and set this shape layer over here and let's rotate it by 45 to 46 degree so set this 45 degree and hit enter and set the shape over here like that okay and now let's animate this shape layer so go to around three second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on outer radius and click on this rotation stopwatch button also to create a keyframe on rotation properties 
okay and then go to very beginning of this animation and set this rotation maybe around minus 105 degree and hit enter and let's play this so it's looking something like that and now set this outer radius value zero and let's play this again so as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's create more interesting animation so select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease this keyframe and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on this and check this edit a speed graph okay and select each point hold this handle and drag it like that and select each point also hold this handle and create a curve like that and now let's play this again all right so it's looking nice and close this graph editor and let's minimize this okay so we have something like that all right let's import media one into this main composition so drag this media one into this main composition and let's apply some effect on this media one composition so select this media one go to effect and preset and search for tint or black and white so this is our tint effect let's apply this on media one and we have a black and white image like that click on this fit button and now let's apply one more effect curves so this is our curves let's apply these curves on this media one and let's pick blue channel and set this color like that so it's looking nice and then let's add a scale animation for this image so go to the end of this animation and hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties hold shift and hit p to bring out this scale and position both and Click on this stopwatch button create a keyframe on a scale and click on this stopwatch button also and then go to very beginning of this animation and let's set the scale value 125 percent okay and set this position over here like that and let's play this so as you can see we have a nice zoom out animation and then select this shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate and let's rename it so rename it to mat i'm gonna use this shape as a mat so drag this mat over this media one layer okay and select this media one and go to track mat if you can't see this track mat then click on this toggle switch edge and change this track mat to alpha mat okay so as you can see we have something like that all right and now select this mat hit u on the keyboard to bring out these active keyframe and go to around three second where we have created a keyframe and set this rotation maybe around 35 degree and hit enter and set this shape over here like that and let's play this again all right so as you can see it's looking nice and now select this shape and click on the solo button and let's apply gradient ramp so select this shape go to effect generate and here is gradient ramp so click on this gradient ramp and let's pick a nice color so select this start color maybe like pink like that hit ok and pick this color maybe blue and set this gradient point over here and set this gradient point over here and create a nice gradient so it's looking nice and click on this solo button and unsolo this and as you can see we have a nice output here and 
Now select this shape, hit Ctrl D to duplicate and drag this shape to over this matte layer and let's drag it over here and hit U on the keyboard to bring out this active keyframe and go to on 3 second where we have created a keyframe and let's rotate it like that maybe 85 degree and hit enter and place it over here like that and let's play this again so as you can see it's looking nice and now let's create a text so let's take a new composition so go to composition take a new composition and this is going to be our text placeholder so let's call it text one hit enter sorry go to composition and composition setting and change the size of this composition so i'm going to use 1920 by 1080 and hit ok and select your text tool and let's set the font style so i'm going to use century gothic which is my favorite font style and set your size maybe around 300 pixel and let's type here so click on this and type instagram and now click on this alignment and click on this vertical alignment and click on this left align okay and set this text like that and then go to your project window and let's duplicate this text one so hit ctrl d to duplicate and double click on this text two and change this text and type your second text so i'm typing instagram stories stories and click on this vertical alignment and click on this alignment left okay and then go to your main composition and let's import text one into this main composition like that and hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it down a bit and select this move tool and set this over here and let's import text 2 into this main composition and let's set this so hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it down a bit and shut it over here maybe down the size and set it like that all right so it's looking nice and let's animate this text so select both text and hit p on the keyboard to bring out this position properties and go to around for second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to around one second and select this text one and drag this by holding shift over here okay and select this text two drag this by holding shift over here and as you can see it's looking something like that all right now select all these keyframe hit f9 to easy ease this keyframe and go to your graph editor and select each point hold this handle and drag it like that and select this point also sorry select these point and hold this handle and set it like that and let's play this again all right so it's looking nice and close this graph editor and let's minimize this okay now it's almost done so let's enable motion blur for this animation so click on this motion blur button and click on this toggle switches and let's enable motion blur and now it's done so let's check this animation all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye